Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So as some of you may know, I visited Australia for the very first time back in December. As someone who has lived in the UK most of her life, these are some of the culture shocks that I experienced whilst there. And some of these might not surprise you, but I found them surprising because it was my very first time in Australia. I didn't know too much about the country and these are the things that I found the most shocking or surprising. Before going to Australia, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit scared because all that I had heard before about Australia is how many snakes and spiders you will find there and everyone I told about my trip asked me if I wasn't scared about all the snakes and all the spiders and the deadly creatures that I would encounter on my trip. But the reality is you're probably not even likely to see them if you're planning to travel around cities. The places that I visited were quite civilized, such as Sydney, Brisbane, Byron Bay. All these places were not very remote, so I didn't see a single spider or snake on my trip. But of course, this depends completely on where you're planning to travel, as if you are going to the outback, you will probably see some snakes and some poisonous spiders because they do exist in Australia, and that is a fact. But just to say that in general, it wasn't bad at all and not as bad as people told me that it would be. I'm a massive scaredy cat when it comes to things like that so I'm absolutely terrified of snakes and spiders and things like that so if you're anything like me and considering a trip to Australia do not let that deter you. Now, I had heard about how nice the beaches are in Australia before visiting, but I didn't know that Sydney would have so many incredible beaches. What surprised me the most was the fact that they have all types of beaches from small to wide to narrow, beaches for snorkeling, beaches for swimming, beaches for surfing, all types of beaches all in one big city and since Sydney is definitely on par with London, New York and Paris and big cities like that it was so surprising to me to see such a big city have so many incredible beaches. Another surprising thing that I didn't anticipate is how cold it gets in Melbourne. So the weather in Melbourne is nothing like the weather in Sydney and Brisbane. It is actually quite cold and very similar to London weather. So my friend luckily warned me before I visited to bring a light puffer, which is what I wore in peak summer, which was December. And if you are going in winter time, I definitely suggest bringing lots of layers and warm clothes because Melbourne does get quite cold and the temperature in winter ranges between 6 to 15 celsius. I had an idea before visiting Australia that it would be full of British people but I really didn't anticipate it to be as full of British people as it was and that is to say nothing against British people obviously. Uh, it was just very interesting to see how many Brits go there to work, to study, to travel and we even joked with my friends that we saw more British people there than we had ever seen in London and we stayed in a hostel in Noosa where it was just British people I think all traveling to Australia which was very funny to see. that surprised me quite a lot was the strict drinking laws in Australia. The drinking laws in the UK are obviously quite relaxed so the case was quite different in Australia and in a lot of public places you are not allowed to consume alcohol. There is also a separate law which does not allow alcohol to be sold in supermarkets so they have separate liquor stores where you can buy your alcohol which was quite surprising to see. This should not be something that is very surprising, but coming from the UK, 
It really was obvious to me that people are a lot happier in Australia. In general, the people were a lot more smiley, a lot happier, especially in service-based industries. The service in cafes was a lot better in all the restaurants than in the UK. So it was definitely pointed out to me quite quickly that people are so much more polite and happier in Australia. So the history with the Aboriginals was, I have to admit, something that I had never looked into before, so I didn't know much about this at all. But it was very surprising to see the Australians acknowledging Aboriginals pretty much everywhere. So we booked a hostel and for example, um, in the hostel they would acknowledge the land that the hostel was on because it belonged to Aboriginals. And although this is quite controversial, because of the way the Australians had treated the Aboriginals in the past, it was very fascinating to see. <laughs> So every time we decided to go for an early morning walk or hike, there would be loads of people taking an early morning jog. And what surprised me was that a lot of Australians will wake up with sunrise and go to bed quite early and that is the lifestyle there. There seemed to be a trend across all the places that we visited. very surprised to see an abundance of wildlife absolutely everywhere in Australia. When we did the Great Ocean Road tour, we drove a couple hours only out of Melbourne and we saw kangaroos just roaming the streets and when we were in the Whitsundays we stumbled across some koalas and it's very common to just see animals roaming in the wild because to us these animals are very fascinating to Australians these are just everyday animals which was very very interesting and surprising the last thing that surprised me about Australia was the fact that they have so many locally made products. So you would walk into a supermarket and you'd see some fresh honey made locally, some fruits, vegetables, and Australians really seem to pride themselves on these products because the labels are there to tell you that it is all made in Australia. So let me know what you guys think about all of this and if you have also traveled to Australia and found the same thing surprising or if you didn't find them surprising let me know as well. Overall I really enjoyed my trip and I absolutely loved everything about Australia and I highly recommend you to visit the country. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.